Hello and welcome. Time for another project. Um, well, a couple of different projects here uh, that you're staring at. First project, this power supply. It is a 180 watt computer power supply that came out of a gateway that a client of mine wanted me to recycle. So I took the majority of the parts and sent the rest to recycling. Um, this one's nice because it has a test switch. As long as you hold it, it's powered on, which means I don't have to short these pins these particular two, which would be the ground and the power on, which would be green and black. Um, the project for this is I'm going to slowly be organizing all of the wires that are coming out of it into a bench power supply. So I have my 12 volt rails, all of my grounds, uh, five and 3.3 volts available to me to connect to all of my various electronics, such as the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino over there, and others um, to test and power for uh, various purposes. My desk is absolutely a mess right now, so I apologize. The second project that I'm working on here is testing a GNTX177 uh, electrochromic mirror with compass and temperature module. Now what's nice about this, let's see if I can't get the wiring harness off, you can see I've got some pins. The colors were faded from the sun um, on the other side, which is currently wrapped up for safety. Um, each pin has a different thing here. Green and purple, in this case it actually looks almost brown, is for the temperature sensor. Um, black, and, uh, black and yellow were for the 12 volt in. There's also a couple of other pins for uh, backup switch automatically uh, undimming the mirror so you can actually see when you're backing up various uh, other bits and pieces of technology surrounding that. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and power up the power supply. And that is hopefully going to actually boot. It's not. Why is it not? Oh, because I yoinked my harness out. So let's put the harness back in and uh, power it up. It powers up, you can see there's a quick post and uh, it's in temperature mode. It is currently 74, 75 degrees in the room and uh, that is fairly accurate looking over at my thermostat. That says 74, so um, yeah, it's probably closer to 75 over here because the thermostat's by the door and it's a little cold out tonight. So. Next we have, which I'm going to have to kind of finagle, is a compass module. One moment. It's not actually facing northeast. I have to calibrate it, but uh, it does go into compass mode. The compass is built into the mirror itself. How that's going to calibrate is once it's installed into the car, uh, I have to drive around uh, in circles. So Now, last thing is just to test the, electrochrom uh, the electrochromic response of this thing. As you can see right now, it's not dimming too much. The color is generally the same across the two. Now when I bring the bright light of the uh, flashlight directly on, you're going to see it slowly dim. Now mind you, that is not my camera adjusting. That would be the mirror adjusting. And then once again, over time, it should begin to yeah, okay, it undimmed. And then you bring it back down, and it dims once again. Which is nice, because then you don't have to reach up and do that. Mind you, this is going into a 1985 Pontiac Fiero with the hopes of bringing it into the 21st century. That's why I said project is nowhere near complete. In any case, see you later.